And greetings again. Welcome, everybody. We're back to Soul Citizens Reactions and Reviews. And I've got one of our new faces joining me today. He's been anticipating this movie. Because evidently, he's a <laughs> Thor lover. We're going to be reviewing. I am. What are we reviewing today? This is BBG, y'all. BBG, what are we reviewing? So today, uh, it's very exciting. We're reviewing Thor Love and Thunder. We're reviewing the initial trailer for this film. Yep. So yep. I'm very excited about reacting to this. Now, I hate to say this. I was really into the first Thor movie, really into the second Thor movie. Mm. They started losing me on the third Thor movie. <laughs> is this the third, four, is this the fourth, the fifth Thor movie right now? It's, this is the fourth one. Okay. And it's by the same director as the third one. Ooh, so. <laughs> okay. So obviously you're a Thor fan. Is that yeah, true? I, I, or just I Marvel am... in general? Well, Marvel in general, okay. but I'm also a big fan of certain arcs in the comic storyline of Thor. Okay. And my understanding is that this will speak to some of that. So I'm excited to see that. Okay. I'm going to trust you to be the authority on this one. My cousin's a big <laughs> Thor fan. I like Thor, but honestly, I have not been keeping up. So, you know, all the Loki stuff came out and everything. So I'm behind. So I'm okay. going to be you seen any of that <clears throat> either. So I'm viewing okay. this as uh, other than the Avengers stuff. So. I'm viewing right. this as somebody who is if like, I'm not a big Thor fan, not, you know, big follower, but I'm curious about the film. Okay. Right. So okay. this is That's coming nice. out next month, right? What? Less than two weeks now. That's right. right? Okay. Yep. Less than two weeks. Okay. I got my first, I got my tickets for the first night. Oh Let's go. boy. You ready? Okay. Even though it says the eighth, y'all, that's a Friday. It's actually going to be opening on the seventh in some places. Right. So, right. Okay. Why don't we go ahead and, uh, we'll jump into it and take a look and see what we like here. And, uh, again, Thor love and thunder. Let's do it. Kids, get to popcorn now. Let me tell you the story of the space viking, Thor Odinson. He was no ordinary man. He was a god. After saving planet Earth for the 500th time, Thor set off on a new journey. Well, he got in shape. He went from dad bod to god bod. And after all that, he reclaimed his title as the one and only Thor. Oh, spoke too soon. Jane? The old ex-girlfriend. What's it been like? Three, four years? Eight years, seven months and six days. Give or take. Am I, uh, sensing feelings? <laughs> well, you're right. <laughs> The only ones who gods care about is themselves. So this is my vow. All gods will die. I just want to say that was very, very impressive what you did back there. It's just my first bad guy. Never forget you first. You are not like the other gods of kill. Because I have something worth fighting for. Let's see who you are and take off your disguise. And flip! Oh, you flipped too hard, damn it! Shall we help him? I mean, eventually. Grape. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> um, okay. So, Griff, maybe you should go first. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um... I'll tell you what I don't like. Mm -hmm. With some of the franchises, it seems like they're doing this, not bringing them up to date, but they're putting things in, the con in a very contemporary context. And whenever I think of Thor, I think of it from the Norse mythological perspective. So even though the main actor kind of has that Nordic accent and talking, 
but then his girlfriend sounds like he's from the United States. That drives me crazy. So I wish there was more of the Nordic God vocabulary and not making it so contemporary. Um, I, I would even go along with it. They talk that way when they're in their realm. And then when they come to ours, they kind of try to act like they're, you know, nor but, but that's me being picky. Um, no, I don't think it's being picky. I mean, even in the comics, they create a whole, they use even a different font. Right, right. And you hear yes. Asgardian speak. Exactly. Right? So, and so, and yeah. the villains usually kind of, kind of maintain that a little bit, but I don't know. It just, that, that has just been something that I like that whole Nordic kind of, you know, Norse kind of thing going on. So I missed that. Let me put it to you that way. Um, I'm also interested in the fact that how Marvel finds these opportunities to how they incorporate humor and the seriousness of their stuff. And for some of their movies, it works. Some of it becomes dark humor. And then some of it, the humor takes me too far out of the familiar uh, story that I'm familiar with. And it's like, they're trying too hard. So I don't know if this is gonna be that. I think in that third movie, that was kind of how I felt about some things, which is why I was maybe turned off a little bit about it. Right. But I am curious enough about this. Uh, I am curious about the balance with women being introduced. I'm not a person who has a problem with women becoming a part of movies, except for when it's done in the perspective of diminishing the men to make the women look good. When the women are right. good because they're just good, that's always cool with me because I get tired of looking at dudes anyway. So I like <laughs> when there's a female hero heroine who's there because she's capable because she is and she can stand side by side, you know what I mean? Right next to the guy and do her thing. So I'm curious to see how they're going to balance this whole ex-girlfriend thing out, you know? So I'll leave yeah. it there because that's about as deep as I want to go because it's a trailer and I'm, I'm right. curious to see. Oh, I don't want to see no more of that shame crap like this. Ever since they did that with Batman versus Superman, it drives me crazy. So that shame <laughs> stuff is not impressive no to me anymore. Mm -mm. Not impressive to me. When you're a god, yeah, okay, you need to go out and do some workout. Okay, okay. But anyway, that's where I'll stop. So you go ahead and give me your thoughts because you're the you're the authority here. Well, you remember that that Thor was uh, a little bit out of shape. In, uh, <laughs> yeah, in the yeah, do a beer belly, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so you got to tighten up a little bit. <laughs> but no, this is exciting for me because it seems as if there's a focus on integrating a variety of powerful and to your point, recent uh, Thor comic storylines, mm -hmm. but some of these, Griff, are some of the best, okay. right? So with Christian Bale, we see there uh, that looks like he's playing the mm -hmm. role uh, of the villain. Mm -hmm. That looks like it's integrating the Jason Aaron and Esad Ribich storyline, one mm -hmm. of the best in the history of Thor. Okay. Um, and then it looks like uh, Jane Foster, the ex-girlfriend, uh, has taken on the power of Thor. That's a powerful storyline okay. uh, most recently. So they've done that. They're keeping the continuity from, you know, what happened uh, in Endgame and some of the previous Avengers movies. Mm -hmm. But you're right in that the tone uh, is that of director Taika Waititi, right? Mm -hmm. He is the guy that did the third movie, Thor Ragnarok. And I like Taika. And, and I like Taika. I usually love his direction. So I'm feeling... Yeah. But Positive. it is different. Mm -hmm. but it is different than the first two Thor movies, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. With Kenneth Branagh. Mm -hmm. uh, and I can't remember who directed the second one. But when he came in with Thor Ragnarok, he does have a particular sense of humor, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And I think you're right that it's going to be very interesting to see how he can integrate the drama, the humor, the romance. And he's trying to give us all of that in one film. And that's hard to do. Yeah. Yeah. That's really hard to do. Yeah. So... Um, for, but what I see right now, um, I, it's compelling. I'm, I remain very excited uh, to see what happens with Valkyrie, you mm -hmm. know, as she leads the Asgardians on Earth and what's mm -hmm. happening with mm -hmm. with Thor. I mean, because when he left, he left with the Guardians of the Galaxy. Right. You can see that he's still with them a little bit, but what happens there? Mm -hmm. And then, of course, you know, all the main stuff with, with the ex-girlfriend and with Christian Bale as, as the villain, Gore. So I'm very excited. Uh, this looks like... It could be very compelling, but it's 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 a it's a tightrope for the director to walk mm. and the actors to walk. Okay, let me so. ask you one other question before we wrap this up. Is the franchise reaching a point? You know, some of these franchises, you know, Iron Man, whatever. You know, you get three, four of these movies. Um, is it still a vibrant franchise, or is it 
like is this the one that they should probably tie it all up or will there, you think there'll be room for thor to maybe put one more out after this or just depending on how the I, film's received yeah i think it depends on not only how the film received but what the storyline is where they where they're taking thor okay. at this point right okay. because if you know there are other thor stories to tell mm -hmm. and thor i mean the narrative the narration we hear at the very beginning of the trailer is like let me tell you the story he said something about the space Viking mm -hmm. Thor. And that's really what Jack Kirby and others were doing in the 60s with Thor, right? Mm -hmm. They were taking this Norse mythology and making it real 60s crazy space Viking. Right. And so there's a lot of cosmic stories to be told with Thor. Mm -hmm. um, and they could go off in that direction. It'll be interesting to see where they leave him at the end of this. Because you're right, this could be sort of wrapping up you know, what Thor really is for a while mm -hmm. in, in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, or it could be opening up a whole new framework on him. Mm -hmm. so. Okay, okay. Looks like we got Russell Crowe in there as Zeus. Too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting. All right, so promising stuff, y'all. Promising stuff. You guys heard it from BBG. If the movie stinks, y'all, make sure y'all let Big Black Gaming know that y'all didn't like it. <laughs> but I'm sure it's going to be... He made, it, he made it sound interesting, so I'm definitely going to go see it. Release date, July 8, 2022. Thor, Love, and Thunder by Walt Disney Studios. Motion pictures. Y'all know Marvel Entertainment is all behind this. And, um, yeah, it looks like it's going to be a, a good... I guess one of those Fourth of July post holiday kind of films that everybody will go out to the movie and uh, and check out. Yeah, good summer fun. Yeah, good summer fun. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> well, dude, thanks a lot. We'll. Uh, I hope you come back when it's time for the review. How's that? We'll, we'll, yeah, we'll come I'm gonna back have in. to stand up, right? I'm right. Gonna stand up for the review, right? <laughs> gotta uh, be and, ready. And take, right, take my beating. <laughs> gotta be, be, gotta so. be ready. Or you can have your accolades. You know, it might be <laughs> right. your accolade. Maybe so he couldn't call this spot on, so we'll see how it goes. But I'm glad you recognize some things that are from the comics, from the lore, direction they seem like they're filling out more of it. So that's gonna that's a positive thing to hear, you know. That's, I'm glad to hear that it's not that Disney's making up some fanciful stuff that don't already exist. So We'll yeah, when they don't goes. stick to the lore, it's not as good for them. That's so. right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> All right, gang. Thanks again for watching this. Hopefully you guys will check us out. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you got some comments about this teaser trailer, please leave them down there for us and make sure you come back for us when we do the big review, okay? Till then, what do we tell them when we leave BBG? Let's see if he knows. What do we say when we go? Peace, love, and soul. Ooh, look at that brother. He got it together. We'll see you guys soon. Take care. <laughs> <laughs> Bye-bye.